Well, good morning, America. This is old Jim Bob coming to you from Jim Bob's secret location somewhere in America. How's everybody doing today? Well, I was, uh, you know, I always going to the doctor when you get old. And I've been visiting way too much. Anyway, I got a new doctor here in town. He's pretty nice fellow. Uh, you know, I've been moving around. I had to get me a new doctor and stuff. So I got him, and uh, he's a pretty, pretty nice fellow. And, uh, uh, he sent me over to get some blood tests and I uh, kind of commentary on this a little bit before but it was in a different uh, uh, format and so I thought I'd come back and uh, refresh you a little bit on an idea I got about uh, giving blood. You see, uh, uh, always uh, the, on the TV they're saying oh, we need more blood than the blood blanks coming around and you got to give some blood to the blood bank and, and uh, getting people to go over there and sign up, and that's a good thing. I like it. It's to help people out. It's a good idea. And I got an idea how you can get a whole lot more blood, uh, <clears throat> and everybody would be happy under doing it. Cause I don't like going and giving my blood when I go down there and do, do, do the blood test. I think uh, uh, I don't like it, cause it's stacking a needle in me and stuff like that. And all I think is the way to make it more make me more happy to go give my blood. And this is what it is. When when you go, when the doctor sends you up to get a blood test, what they do, it will change it. And you go in there, and uh, instead of them taking a couple little vials of blood, they'll take a pint, pint and a half, maybe two pints, I don't know. It depends on how good you feel that day. And uh, they'll take a, a however much the blood they need for the testers, and then the rest of it, they'll pay you whatever the going rate is. Uh, you know, twenty, thirty dollars a pint, something like that. Uh, I guess the, I don't know how they do that, but I know these college kids are all the time going down there and giving blood so that they can uh, go out there and have a party or something or other after to get the blood taken and uh, stuff like that. So uh, I, I, if everybody would do that, then uh, what would happen would there'd be plenty of blood in the blood bank all the time, and uh, old people like me that's retired and all the time and getting stabbed and uh, blood test every time we go to the doctor, uh, we'd be having lots of money. And then that'd help the economy, because we spend that money, and uh, I spend mine on fishing, and uh, uh, other people spend it on whatever they want to spend it on, their TVs and stuff like that. But see, uh, everybody would be happy. Uh, it won't be so bad to get yourself stuck in the arm, to get the blood out, and uh, like that. And besides, I heard uh, when they take your blood, they give you cookie and oranges. Well, hell, I love cookies, and uh, oranges is okay. Uh, I think it's orange juice. But, you know, uh, you get paid, you get cookies and oranges and some money. It's a good deal. Everybody wins. I don't know why people don't come up with these ideas. I have to come up with them on my own. But uh, just think about it. It's the best way to give blood would be like that. So that's Jim's uh, idea for today, and uh, I guess that'll be it. I hope you have a wonderful day, and Jim Bob's out.